Hey guys, what's up? Canuck here, and if you haven't heard already, Butters Bay has finally released. Now, Butters Bay is a collaboration between Frankie Borelli over at Barstool Sports and the 4Play Podcast and myself. So we've been working on this for the last couple months, trading the file back and forth, been doing some streams. It's been a lot of fun. So let's give this a run, and uh, yeah, I'll show you the ropes, I hope, anyway. It's it's a fun course. I mean, those that really know me will probably see it right away and be like, okay, this isn't quite up to Canucks standards. And, I mean, this is Frankie's course. Frankie's a new designer who's improved drastically. So, I mean, you're going to see some of these new designer things. I've helped out and fixed some things here and there, but not everything is perfect, and that's okay. It's just a fun course to play. So, uh, I'm going to kind of go through, show you kind of maybe who did what a little bit, and some holes are all mine some holes are all frankies and some are a bit of both so we're gonna start with this first hole fun little dog leg par four to kick things off this is actually my hole um so he kind of had an idea and i said why don't we try something like this and this is kind of how butters bay came to be with this hole we built this hole a long long time ago just realized i have my wrong driver but that's okay my 277 driver it's fine. We're playing in very high winds, just for fun. Why not? All right, second shot here into a relatively flat green. A little bit of a slow one. That's got to go. Yeah, this was a, a real blast. Uh, Help Frankie build this, and yeah, it was just a really cool experience. So I'm hopefully hoping we're gonna get to do another course at some point a little bit later on. Stay tuned for that. Ooh, just missed. All right, we'll tackle in our par. Okay. Hole two is a very similar look. I've just noticed the uh, as a very not flat <laughs> um, tee box. Oh well. Uh, Frankie wanted to do a similar hole. This is a Frankie hole, and uh, I think he did a really good job with this planting here. That was mostly him. Kind of sinking the bushes down and getting that kind of dead look. I think it turned out really nicely. So we did that for quite a bit of the front nine and a lot of the back, too. All right. Try to keep this on the fairway. Going to be a little tough with these winds. Hang on. Hang on. Should be fine. All right. Just fine. Second shot here. Nice little sandwich. Might even go a little bit less. we got to watch out for this little dip here. So it's kind of fun to let it, to land it right before this dip and let it roll down with this pin position. But I'm not sure we're going to be able to do that here. Right. I hit a fast. This has got to sit. Really got to sit. Put on the brakes. Oh, there we go. It did. Pretty straight putt. Oh my goodness, how'd I miss that? <sighs> no good. Alright, hey door par. Number three, the little par three, a little bit hidden from view. I think we maybe could have done a bit better job you know, showing this hole off a bit more. This is a kind of a mix of a Canuck Frankie hole, I think. Um, maybe it was just me, but I, I yeah, I, I mean, we didn't we probably could have done a little bit better job on the planting here, but not bad. Very tricky shot here. Down the hill, especially with this wind. You know, Butters Bay is gettable. This is going to be in the water. Oh my goodness, look at that wind. I aimed as far left as I probably thought I could have, and it still blew it all the way over. So we got to aim even further left. Ugh. There we go. Look at that come in. Jeez. Huh, maybe I didn't have to aim that far left. Well, we're setting up for a big score here. But Now, there's some holes here on Butters Bay that are going to do that. And uh, that's what Frankie wanted a diabolical course. Pretty sure he said the word diabolical a thousand times. And uh, I think he got, I think, I think it's a pretty diabolical course in some places. Gettable in some places, but also damn tough. Alright, fourth. I believe we built this on his, kind of one of his first streams. I kind of built this initial shot 
Um, I like the tee shot. I don't really don't have... I don't think I'm going to have the club now to make this. Ah. Uh, I kind of built out the tee shot. He built the drive. Yeah, I wouldn't have made it. Um, this is a fun little hole. This is maybe my favorite stretch of holes. I really like hole four and five. I mean, five, I think, is the signature hole. We've used five on quite a bit of the promotional stuff. It's just a stunning little R3 out on the water. Very much an Augusta 12 tropical. Ooh. Alright. Ooh, we'll take this. We'll take that. Nice little chip in for birdie. Ooh. Boom. Yes, indeed. Oh, I like that. Really big receptive green there on number four. Alright, here's number five. This is, like I said, probably the signature hole here at Butters Bay. Um, and Frankie did most of this hole. I think he did a really, really solid job with it. Um, I fixed up a little bit with the, just the bunker, kind of showing it off a little bit, a bit with the tee shot to really make this thing pop. And I think it turned out pretty nicely. But yeah, Frankie's like, he wanted an Augusta 12, and he did a really good job in building it. I don't think I have enough club here. Get out. Try to get cute bounce. Oh. Oof. Tricky little chip shot here. Two in a row? Oh my goodness, I thought we had two chip ins in a row. Would have been incredible. Alright. Hole number six, another Frankie hole here. 440 yards, two fairways. If in a tailwind you can hit this upper fairway, but in a headwind like this, not a chance. And this leads to a tough second shot. Well, I'm for some reason going over to the fourth hole, which is actually a bit of a shortcut. It was a bit of an omission here, but you know, it's not a bad angle in if you play over here. So, a little secret. I'm sure people have figured that out. Terrible lie. 17 mile an hour wind. Still haven't found the green. This hole is... Very difficult in a win like this. Third shot now. We're just trying to save par here. Okay. We can live with that. Get in there. Come on. Ah, we're going to take a bogey. Very tough hole in the wind. All right, seven. This is an all Canuck hole. I I really had fun building this one. He basically told me he wanted a short dogleg left where you can play a bank and potentially roll it up onto the green. So um, I think I did that pretty good here. And this makes this hole a lot of fun. But with this wind, it's going to be a little tougher to do. I think I'm going to hit a three wood. Don't know if we're going to get that nice little bank shot we're hoping for, but... This is kind of the shot you want. Yeah, it didn't quite get to the green, but... Let's try to flop it close and get a nice easy birdie. Play this hole smart, it should be an easy birdie. Or an eagle if you had a really good shot. There it is. Nice little birdie. Okay, hole 8. Frankie had an idea he wanted to do, like, an Augusta 13. This was originally a par 4. I don't know, late in publishing, I think that might have been my fault, switching it to a par 5 by accident. Uh, but my goodness, with this wind, 21 miles an hour in my face, uh, we're not going to get here in 2. Oh, and I'm going to be in the creek. Oh, I'm going to be even left of the creek, maybe. <laughs> Somehow I'm not in. Wow. Okay, well, we got to avoid the famous... Borelli Butter Knife Bunker. Which I think we have. Yikes. Yeah, we're good. Alright. Tricky little landing spot here. We gotta be really careful. 
Oh, we're long. Jeez, just crushed a fast. As you can see, very much Augusta vibes with the bunkering and basically this entire hole. Uh, wow, 21 mile an hour winds. This was a tough one. So yeah, originally we had 8 as a par 4, 9 was a par 5, and we kind of flipped them at the end. Um, I don't know. I don't know if we, I, we liked that decision at the end, but it is what it is. But this wind, I mean, this is going to be an absolute beast of a par 4. 482 yards. I hit the fast. That's not going to clear it either, is it? Oh my goodness. No, and another just abysmal lie. 58% lie. Not much you can do with that. All right. See if we can get her a little bit closer. Oh, I just terrible tempo right now. And the green just slopes very severely off here, so... You missed the green. You got a pretty ch tricky chip up. All right, well... Gonna take our medicine, take a bogey. All right, a little bit all over the place—a double, two bogeys, but two birdies. As we finish here on the front nine, back nine, number ten. This is a Frankie hole. I think maybe this hole could have done a bit of a redo. I think um, just the way the bunker is, or the fairway is just cambering right towards these giant bunkers, doesn't really give us an opportunity to do much, especially with this wind. Uh, we're going to try to keep it on the fairway, but I don't even think that will hang on. It won't, so. I don't love that, but uh, Frankie liked it how it was, so we kept it that way. But, uh, you know, I, I've heard maybe some early people, early, early comments saying this may be not their favorite hole of Butters Bay, and I would, I would tend to agree. Believe me, Frankie makes up for it on the next hole. You'll see. Ooh. All right, chip on. Take our par. All right, number 11 is an absolute... Another stunner par 3. I think the par 3 is really standout at Butters Bay. And Frankie did this pretty much all by himself, and I think he did an excellent job. Like, the planting, the tee shot, everything is just great here. So, kudos to him. I mean, I think this was a really well-done hole. Crazy tailwind. Another fast. Oh, that needs to hit the pin. Hit it. Oh, I almost did. Oh, boy. All right. Long shot in here. Little flop, I mean. A lazy swing, but... Oh, I actually got a little bit of a... Top spin that I wasn't expecting. Tap it in. Save our par. All right, number 12 is a short R5, except when you play into a 20 mile an hour headwind. Uh, short up the hill. This was another kind of Frankie hole. I helped him with the bunkers on the left, I believe. But uh, again, this was pretty much all his idea, this one. I cleaned up a few things here and there, but he was really starting to find his stride at this point, I felt, in the design. So I found I was trying to, I was helping him out less and less, which was good. I think he's still got a little, a lot of little minor touch-up things to work on, but he's got the basics down, and he's he's getting to be pretty good at planting. So um, encouraging to see. I mean, those that played uh, Knives Creek, his first one, and compared this one compared to Knives Creek, this one is night and day better in my opinion. So, Ooh, this might get caught up in the fringe here. It did a little bit. Up the hill. Tough putt. Okay. Oh, man. Well, short par 5, and if you play into a headwind like that, it's that play is pretty nasty. Okay. 13th is a quirky little hole. This was another Frankie hole, but uh, I kind of like the idea. Really sharp dog leg. Depending on where you aim it and loft it up, you actually can clear this. We're actually going to try to do it. 
pull off this way up. Let's see if we can clear this. Oh yeah, no problem. Especially with this wind, it definitely helps. So very much a helping wind there. A couple fun holes coming up. Uh, this one and then 14 as well. Ooh, that's not bad. So this is a good part of the, the course where you can uh, potentially even make a couple eagles. So, All right, 14. I kind of came up. He came up with the idea. I kind of gave him the template. He threw in some bunkers. Maybe a little bit too big, but not bad. But he just wanted a shot where it's huge downhill, and he wanted to see if people could get there in one. And with the big driver, you can. I don't know. I've, I don't have the big driver in my hand right now, so I'm going to chicken out a bit. Yeah, I don't think I would have made it. We'll play safe down here. Leave ourselves just a little pitch in. Beautiful look here. Look at that sun. It's into the infinite Butters Bay. Majestic. Oh, it's tricky here. Oh, boy. There's no rough there, so it can easily slide into those rocks. So, something to be careful with on this hole. Oh, the chip in. Oh, I thought we had another one. Chipping game's been pretty good here today. Been pretty good. Alright, we're almost done. We head to 15. 15's another Frankie hole that I barely touched. I think he did a nice job on this. Nice gradual uphill par 5. Or par 4, I mean. But again, into just a punishing wind. Oh, boy. And I seem to find the rough every time. And just a terrible lie again. All we can do is hack it out. We're going to play this as a three-shot par four. That's no fun. Again, guys, this is just punishing wins, so. Tried to see how it would play in just nasty wins, and uh, it's got some teeth. It has got some teeth here. Come on. Come on down. Here it comes. Do it. What a putt that would have been. Alright, we're going to take another bogey. I don't think we're going to finish under par here unless we go on a big birdie streak. 16. Longest par 3 on the course. Downhill, 224. Into the wind. I think we had trouble with this one. Frankie built the tee shot. I think the green's okay. I kind of like the bridges at the back, but I feel like we could have done a little bit more with this area in the back here, but we kind of just ran on a plant meter. I used garbage cans there to prop up the bridge, and those took up a lot of plant meter for some strange reason. Boy, I did, my tempo is a mess right now. Into the lake. I don't even know where it put me. Wow, it put me on the other side. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Not sure how I got over there, but pretty good approach. Chance to save a bogey. Which we do. Not a bad four from there. <laughs> Crazy drop area. Alright, 17. Another Frankie hole. He did most of the back nine. I like this hole. Beautiful sun here. Cut off as much as you want. Fairway does narrow, so you gotta be careful. You don't want to get end up into the, the junk here on the left. But we are just fine with this shot. Alright. I love this double green he's done here. So he did a that was all him, his idea, so um really like that. This could be pretty good. Perfect. Yeah, that's one of my favorite views on the course right there. Boom. We got a birdie. A little bit of momentum as we head into the eighteenth. 18th par 5, this is a Canuck hole, so I'm actually pretty proud of this one. This is maybe one of my favorite 18ths I've ever built. Um, and that clubhouse I actually built, those that know me and my lack of general laziness towards clubhouses, I actually put in a little effort, and that one turned out pretty good, I thought, so pretty proud of myself for this one. Got to be really careful on this drive. You can get to that lower fairway, but you have to put it out here to the left, and it should bounce down the hill. This should be just fine. 
Just like that. Absolutely crushed. 386 yards. But a very tricky second shot in here. Well, got a big fast. Oh boy. Almost down into the marina there. Okay. Flop it up. Try to make a birdie here to finish things off. We almost flop in for eagle. But we'll take a tap in birdie. We'll finish it two over. And that is our round at Butters Bay. A lot of bogeys, a lot of birdies, a little bit of everything there, so... Um, I really had fun, like I said, building this whole, this course with, uh, with Frankie. Um, you know, it's not up to my usual, I would say, quality, but, you know, again, I was more of a consultant on this course, and, uh, I really enjoyed building this, and hopefully we can do some more in the future, so. Uh, thank you, uh, to all the foreplay fans and all that that gave me some support with this. It's been great. I appreciate it, so. Thank you guys very much. See you next time.